ladies and gentlemen. It is time. It is time. Hello everybody, Jimbo here, and I finally got some Digimon stuff. I know, look, I know it's not a box. I get it. I get it. You want a box. So, so do I. Preferably at MSRP, right? I paid 25 each for these red decks. Um, guys at the store told me that it was a game where you needed to buy two starter decks. I remember that being a thing back in the day with Vanguard. Um, I like, look, look, maybe I didn't, because I really wanted to get a red deck and a blue deck, um, because I love, uh, Garurumon, but whatever. I bought two red decks. I can always go back and get the blue decks, but there's packs in here, which I didn't know when I bought them. There's a pack in each one, so... Let's look at these bad boys. Got ready to play 54 card deck, memory gauge card, index card, and one 1.0 booster pack. And there's Digimon cards, Digi Egg cards, Tamer cards, and Option cards. So I'm assuming this is exciting because, I mean, this is the launch of a new game. You know, I mean, it's not like new, new in the sense that you can already, uh, you can already get, or people have been having access to this and people are already playing and whatever but it's new for me and that is all that matters to moi so in this video i'm going to uh take a look at what comes inside the box um and obviously i'm not going to run through the contents of the second box but i will be opening the pack that is in the second box so let us uh let us pray for some goodies, huh? Pray for me. I'm not, uh... I'm not sure what I, uh, can even pull in the 1.0. I know that, uh, when I jump into a new card game, you know, I don't have, like, the knowledge of, like, oh, what do I want to pull? But I, I like an organic experience. I like an organic experience. I hope, I hope you look for... Oh, wait, we gotta get that fresh smell. <sighs> Smells like cardboard. Appropriate. Appropriate. Alright, a little bit of what's in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So, this is our 1.0 booster pack. And we have this. the instructions and rules and our cards so that there was this like little sleeve that just slides off the side so let's so this is the card back that's that's like cool and also super basic at the same time like it's definitely clean but is it like yo that's clean that's lit or is it like like it's just quite literally clean you know i don't know i don't know how i feel about it yet I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if that grows on me. So, let's see. Oh, are these... Nice. Okay. Oh, they're double-sided. Okay, so I'm supposed to, like... So, I've got... This is, I think, the, the memory phase. Yeah, the memory gauge card. Sorry. I think that's the memory gauge card. I'm not going to show you guys all the rules. If you're watching this, maybe you know, maybe you don't. But, uh... It's cool that they put it on on cards. I mean, it's it's inconvenient because it's all separate and not like one little booklet of the rules, but it's more durable as a result. So let's see what we have in here. We have Coromon. <laughs> Coromon. 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 You got a play set. Assuming a playset of Biomon. We've got a playset of Agumon, I'm sure. Because it's a tie deck. Gaia Red. We've got a playset of Dracomon. A 
Bergeron. I like the art. I'm not actually like a big fan of Bergeron, but I do think that the art is cool. And I think that the one thing I did, never liked about it was like it's 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 beak slash maw slash muzzle, whatever you want to call it. Like it's like it's like a phoenix, but then it's got like this demonic hellhound looking mouth. And you know, being the metalhead that I am, you would think that I think that that's cool, but I, it's just a little off-putting to me. We've got Cordramon. The, the 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 quality of this of these cards is quite nice. They they feel very uh, sturdy. Oh, Greymon. I don't. What is this goofy art? Why did it look so like like a like a Funko Pop? Little body, big head. Got a little body, big head. Don't mess with me. Oh, only two Greymons. Garudamon is lit. How many Garudamons we have? We have one, two, three, four. Oh, these cards like kind of stick together a bit. Sorry for the spoilers. Ah, uh, so we got Metal Greymon. How many Metal Greymons? One, two, three, four. Was it four? I'm not sure. Phoenix Mon. Okay, so that's a full art. That's nice. But you saw what was coming up. You saw what was coming up. Let's just get right to it. Let's just get right. Yo, look at the War Greymon. Look at the War Greymon. Liddy. Absolutely lit. So it's a uh, super rare. I'm sure there are no secret rares in here. So we got one, two, two War Greymons. Uh, Ty Kamiya. This is like a tamer card. That was a thing, right? You didn't say tamer cards. Yeah, we got our Tai Kamiya's with our plus 1,000 DP for all our creatures, or Digimon rather. Shadow Wing, which is an option card. So notice they have like a main effect, but then they also have like the security effects. I just downloaded the app today on my iPhone. I had it on my tablet and I kind of dabbled with it. I wasn't a huge fan, but I kind of want to give it another try and see if I like it. So I'm going to go through that uh, that app again today, but on my iPhone and see if I see if it clicks with me this time. We've got Giga Destroyer. We got what? two copies of those. And then presumably, yes, two copies of Gaia Force. Delete one of your opponent's Digimon and security activate this card's main effect. Okay, so that's our deck, which is nice. I gotta take take nice good care of this. And I guess I need to start kind of like looking into the meta a bit, I mean, and see what the dealio is when it comes to uh, the Digimon. I wonder if I can get this plastic back on. Oh my God, oh my God, did I? Yo, I did, let's go. It's a bit loose because I didn't put the rule cards in there, but. I just want to repackage this nicely so we can get to the meat and potatoes. Let's get to the starch of this video, which is this. Let me actually uh, let me actually get the other one out. So now I just got two two starter decks of red. Oh wow! Wait, they came with different art. Yo, hold on. You know, whatever, whatever. We'll take care of that later. Yo, this is lit. Okay, so we got Omnimon and uh, Metal Garurumon and War Greymon on here. And then is that Gallantmon? Yo, I'm, I'm a bit, I'm a bit, uh, I'm a bit rusty. Okay, I'm a bit rusty when it comes to Digimon. I didn't even finish Cyber Sleep, and I feel horrible admitting that because honestly, that game is lit but I just never got around to finishing it. I'm, I've been so bad with JRPGs, especially now, like with doing uh, card videos, like I, I just, Monster Hunter Rise hyped it up nonstop. I love Monster Hunter. I'm very happy to be back to a more traditional one, even though it has a lot from world, but I just don't, like, do I have time to play? But I'm always, yes, I'm always looking at card stuff though, or like checking the social media and whatnot. Um, so let's open one of these. I don't know if there's a card trick for this game. We're just gonna go in. We're gonna go in raw. So let's see. Got that. Alright, so we have 
Gorillamon. It's common. Where Garurumon, yes, one of my favorite Digimon, absolutely top. I know it's a common, it doesn't matter that it's a common because it's Where Garurumon. Garu! Yes, lit. Fantastic. We'll take it. Dimension Scissor. Andromon. I never liked this card, or not card, this Digimon, but I actually think this art's kind of cool. I don't know why, I'm kind of into it actually. Dark Tyrannomon. Night Raid. Oh, that's lit with Meotis. That's cool. Gilmon. Necessary. Back for Revenge. Magnadramon. Sirenmon and Lilymon and Angemon and those are our rares. Okay, so we didn't. We didn't get well, honestly, yo, the Angemon art is lit. Yeah, I was kind of sleeping on this. Like, my friend has been trying to get me to to mess around with the card game, and I was like, well, a, it's impossible to find, and b, like, I really love Vanguard art and MTG art and Pokemon art, and. Digimon, it's kind of hit or miss for me. But, you know, holding the cards and looking at them, I'm like, yo, this is not bad. This is not bad. And I like that they showcase um, a good amount of the art on the cards. Like, it's not a full art, but it may as well be. It's pretty close. Uh, so let's open this second pack here. Come on, come on, come on. So we got Volcanic Dramon. Look at the art. Yo, is this a is this a Kagero clan card? Like, hello? Did we accidentally open up a pack, a pack of Vanguard? Armadillomon. Classic. Heat Viper. Wizardmon. I love the art. Wizardmon is great. That one thing I will say that is really cool about Digimon is like, and I mean if you're watching this and you watch Digimon you're well aware of this but like there's such a variety of designs like and you've seen the memes like you go from a kitten to a lion to like a Gundam of a lion to a Pentagon supercomputer like you just they're just all over the place but then you have you know you have like crazy stuff but you also have like cool humanoid stuff like this to me is a cool design but you know I'm a nerd I like like Dungeons and Dragons and stuff like that so I, I love to see like wizards and mages uh, Kapurimon, Kudamon, that's a pass, brother bear, that's a pass. Vegemon, absolutely hate it, absolutely hate it. I remember having the Digimon, like, official guide that was basically, like, the Pokemon official guide where you, like, you know, went through, like, the Pokedex 1 to 151, so there was a Digimon version as well, and I had this, and I used to share it, like, like, show it to my friends in the cafeteria in elementary school and middle school, and, like, every time, every time I hated this, <laughs> every time. And Sukumon, but who doesn't? Well, actually, people probably like Sukumon now because it's a meme. It's a meme mon. Looking back on the good times, Labramon, Petermon. Well, I'm gonna give that one to Peter. Taiga, with our little our little rare tamer card, and Infermon, which is not. All right, so we just oh, look, look, look. It's okay. It's okay. We didn't pull. We didn't pull. Hot fire. We didn't get a super rare or anything like that. We didn't get a secret rare, but that's okay. I again, I'm just, I'm just happy that I am even holding Digimon cards like at all. Like I, I was like, how long do I actually have to wait to get my hands on some, on some Digimon cards? You know, I got to take a picture of that for Peter because that's freaking hilarious. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I'm excited. I don't know, um, how many people who are going to watch this are, uh, are into Digimon, whether it be the show, the game, uh, the manga, I'm pretty sure there's Digimon manga, or, or the card game, but it's, uh, it's been a nightmare to find, but if you're invested in the card game, good luck keeping this thing going. You know, they launched at a very, very, uh, difficult time to be launching a product like this, you know, a, a, a hobby that requires social gathering more often than not you know but to see people who've been handling it by doing like um 
online events like with a webcam and stuff like that it's great to see the passion in the card game community trying to keep things alive they don't want to let something that just launched die out immediately and i love to see that passion so i i'm right there with you i'm gonna be trying to buy product where i can and see which stores near me are uh, are running events for it. I know the store I bought this from is doing some Digimon events. They just moved from eight player to 16 player tournaments, which is great news. Uh, that means that they're getting more interest uh, and people in the area wanting to play. And uh, the store that I go to in another borough in the city, um, when they open up and start hosting events, they have expressed interest in running Digimon events as well. So if you, you know, if you have a local store that you go to buy stuff from and they're not carrying Digimon, um, you know, do not despair. Honestly, let your, uh, let the store owner know that you're interested in Digimon. If you have any friends, like, rally together, you know, get them all to let the store owner know that you're interested. Um, it's very difficult to get your hands on it and, you know, they might not be able to get it very quickly, but if enough people express interest, you can start up a Digimon scene in your community. So uh, put in the work so that your store owners can put in the work so that you guys can form a community and uh, start, you know, getting some product and enjoying the game. Uh, but in the meantime, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed the polls and like seeing some of this Digimon art with me. Uh, if you had not been aware of this card game or, uh, or if you hadn't had a chance to see any of the cards, I hope you liked how they looked and uh, I, hope, uh, I hope you guys are interested. If you want to learn how to play the game, there is an app on the store. This is not sponsored, obviously. But yeah, you know, it's a great way to learn how to play it. So check that out. It's on the App Store and uh, and also the Google Play Store. So uh, give that a look. And uh, again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you have a great night or day, depending on when you watch this. But yeah, enjoy.